up, Greg? I hope you're all having a great day. Welcome back to another episode of Danny's Big Boy Craft Emporium, home of the finest crafts on all of the internet. It's been a really long time since I've made a video about Shroom Chum. I think it's been like five or six months. The last video I did about Shroom Chum was called Trying Awful Shroom Chum Pranks, and that video blew the hell up. I think it's got like six million views now, and it launched my channel from like 600,000 subs to over a million. So I'm gonna do that again. So I haven't looked at Troom Troom's channel in a while, and while I was researching for this video, I started to realize that I think they're trying to shade me. And a few people have sent me before that Troom Troom now has a character named Miss Gonzalez. Miss Gonzalez is in complete harmony with her kitchen. She's a character that they only just started including in their videos a couple months ago. So I thought that that might be shading me, because this channel is from like Ukraine or something. I don't know how many people with the last name Gonzalez there are in Ukraine, but I'm guessing it's not a lot, so I don't know what else they could be referencing. But then I saw this video, it's called Nine Fun Christmas Treat Ideas. And we find out that Miss Gonzalez has a nephew named Stevie. Stevie Gonzalez. Unicorn is home alone. She is decorating her room, and there is a shadow behind the door. Who is that? The spirit of Christmas? It turns out that it's Miss Gonzalez's nephew, Stevie. He has this creepy entrance where he's like staring through the window. Then he comes in, and you get a good look at him, and you realize he's got my haircut, and he looks a lot like me. Not that every white dude with this haircut doesn't look like me, but... Still, do you think this is a coincidence? His name is Stevie Gonzalez. Unicorn is so happy. Stevie will help her embellish the house. Huh, you wish. Stevie is a busy bee. There is no room for unicorns and Christmas decorations in his schedule. He has to keep an eye on his Instagram likes. They also made him like a huge asshole who's like actively hating on Troom Troom in the videos. They make him super obsessed with getting likes on Instagram, almost like they're trying to shade an influencer. <laughs> what the fuck do you think you're trying to pull, Troom Troom? You think I don't get it? You think I don't see what you're trying to do? You're trying to shade me so that I make another video about you, aren't you? Well, it's not gonna work. And you wanna know why? Because I was already gonna make another video about you anyway, bitch. Then there's this whole plot where Stevie Gonzalez is rude and eats cookies when he's not supposed to, and he turns into a reindeer. Apparently these unicorn cookies are magical. They just can't bear rude people. This is like psychological warfare. Are you threatening to curse me and turn me into a reindeer? I won't have it. Anyway, that's enough talking about Stevie Gonzalez. I just thought that that was really weird that I've apparently been beefing with this Ukrainian crafts channel for months and had no idea. Anyway, Greg, let's get into some crafts. So the theme for today's crafts is sneaky. More specifically, sneaking shit into school that you're not supposed to have in school. Troom Troom's got a bunch of these videos like this one. It's called 10 Weird Ways to Sneak Gadgets into Class. And in this particular craft, they're going to teach us how to sneak music into class so you can listen to music without your teacher knowing. What a boring class. The girls need to come up with something. Cindy just so happens to have a musical pencil sharpener. A musical pencil sharpener, huh? That sounds like a pretty cool idea. I don't know if this was a thing in most high schools, but I've seen lots of creative ways of like listening to music in class. I think the most creative one I've seen is like you actually run the wire from your phone up like a hoodie and down your sleeve, and then you have the earphone in like the palm of your hand, and you just pretend to be resting your hand so you can listen to music in class uh, instead of passing high school, I guess. Take apart a pencil sharpener of a suitable size. Cover it with decorative tape. Decorate the pencil sharpener with tape. I'm not sure how that's gonna make it play music, but... Okay, my pencil sharpener is covered in decorative tape. Put an MP3 player inside. Plug headphones into the pencil sharpener and sneakily turn on some hype music. What? That's the whole craft? That's how you sneakily listen to music in class? This doesn't fix the problem with listening to music in class. The problem is that you've got wires running directly to your ears. Do they think their teacher's just gonna be like, hey, no listening to music in class. Oh, oh my bad, it's just, <laughs> it's just plugged into a pencil sharpener. They must just be listening to pencil shavings. Okay, be honest, can you tell that I'm listening to music right now? <laughs> oh, what, this? No, I'm not listening to music, I'm just listening to a pencil sharpener. Our secret party is going very well so far. The teacher doesn't notice anything. The teacher doesn't notice anything? I have headphones in. He doesn't notice that? Next thing you know, a dance battle will start. And now it's saying that you can dance 
at your desk and your teacher still won't notice? If you were my teacher and you saw me just at my desk like this with my headphones plugged into a pencil sharpener, I mean, either you would assume I was listening to music or you would just be really worried about me and ask what was wrong, right? Overall, I gotta say this is pretty inventive and a great way to trick your blind teacher. Do you think Trim Trim knows that they make wireless earbuds? You know what's a better way to hide that you're listening to music in class? I'm fucking jamming out right now and you have no idea. Okay, this next one's called eight weird ways to sneak giant stress relievers into class. So pretty bold of them to imply that there's normal ways to sneak giant stress relievers into class. What does that mean? Like we all know of all the normal ways to sneak giant squishy balls into class. But here's some weird ways to do it. The premise of this whole video is teaching you how to make giant stress relievers that look like school supplies. So like a giant pencil sharpener that's actually a squishy pencil sharpener that you can sneak into class. The only problem being that why would you bring a giant pencil sharpener to school in the first place? You're like hiding a weird thing in an even weirder thing. It would probably be more normal to just bring like a stress ball to school. But instead, they're like, you need to hide the squishiness of a stress ball in something that we all bring to class, like a giant pencil sharpener. Redhead is late to class. She brought some chaos to school along with her homework. Honestly, same. I bring chaos literally everywhere I go. She's having a bad day. She fell into a puddle and tarnished her reputation. I'm trying to picture how she fell into this puddle and only got like the tip of her knee wet. If you fell into a puddle on your knees, you would get like this whole, your whole shin wet and your knee. How did she fall into a puddle and just get the tip of her knee wet? She must have like, she must have just dipped the tip of her knee in the puddle. Honestly, that's impressive if that's what she did and no wonder it tarnished her reputation. Everybody was probably like, did you just see that girl jump knee first into a puddle? What's wrong with her? But Dolly knows how to calm her friend down. A giant paperclip will help her. A giant paperclip will help her. <laughs> what? How is that gonna help? That's not a stress reliever. It's just like a silly looking thing. This girl must be really easily entertained if the second her friend pulls out a giant paperclip, she's like, oh, my day is ruined. Oh, oh fuck yeah, dude. Is this a giant paperclip? Oh, Fuck yes, thank God, dude. I've been waiting for this, ugh. Okay, let's figure out how to make this giant paperclip. Bend a piece of wire to be the shape of a big paperclip. Okay, I got some crafting wire that we're going to turn into the shape of a paperclip. Okay, that's a pretty sizable giant paperclip, and you know what, I'm feeling pretty relieved of my stress already. Honestly, I don't even think I need to do anything to it. I feel weirdly calm now. No, no, not yet. Not until we finish the craft. Mix light clay of different colors and cover the big paper clip with the rainbow mixture. Huh. Okay, and now I'm just gonna cover the piece of wire and feast your eyes as this regular piece of wire turns into a stress reliever. Fuck, come on, daddy-o. Daddy needs a new paper clip. Okay, here we are. Maybe I used the wrong type of wire or something because it's totally not staying in place. Dolly presents her anti-stress invention, a giant soft paper clip. What a nice toy. Look how happy she is. She's like thrilled. This is the best gift she's ever received in her life. How easily entertained do you have to be for this, for someone showing you this to make your day? She figures out some unusual ways to use it. A punk styled necklace, or maybe a hat. Oh, sick. So it actually has got a couple different functions. Could honestly probably make a weapon. Yeah! So it's not only a stress reliever, but also very dangerous, a very dangerous weapon. Here's another video called 15 Weird Ways to Sneak Candies into Class. This video is for people who need to be consuming candy at all times. They can't wait until passing period. They can't wait until lunch. They need candy now. Mr. Sebastian is wearing a weird tie today. Is this actually a new trend in fashion? He's definitely hiding something. Sebastian tries to distract the students with studying so that they don't suspect anything. And meanwhile, he carefully adjusts the knot on the tie and drinks his favorite chocolate milk. So this invention is supposed to help teachers sneak chocolate milk into class because I guess for some reason teachers aren't allowed to just bring like a, a water bottle full of 
chocolate milk to class. Like, teachers aren't allowed to have water bottles in class, right? Couldn't you just hide it in this? You could hide anything in this and no one would know. Why do you need to make a fucking tie? Who is so desperate for chocolate milk that they need to engineer this thing? Me, that's who. Cover a plastic shirt collar bed with yellow velour. Cut off the excess and sew it. Then it says to sew this part together, um, but I don't know how to sew, so I'm just gonna glue it, and I hope that's okay. Here comes the glue, Poppy. Oh, ah, Jesus, ow, holy shit. I just touched hot glue. I think I have a burn on my finger, Jesus. Hot glue is hot, ow. All of these craft channels use hot glue like it's nothing. They should have safety warnings at the beginning of all these videos. That really could have fucked my finger up, dude. Low key, that could have high key destroyed my finger. Low key. Fasten a tie from a collapsible plastic vase. I didn't know what a collapsible plastic vase was. That's something that I feel like I've never seen before in my life. So, so I'm just gonna use a Ziploc bag. It says to make a tie shape out of this. I don't know if I wanna go for like a realistic tie look or like the tie that they have in the video, which is like this thick, like really wide tie that nobody would ever wear. Yeah, okay, I guess I'm going with a thick tie. I guess I'm going with a real thick tie. I definitely feel like the second I fill this up with water, the whole thing's just gonna unfold and this is going to be a disaster. Hot glue the top halfway. Is this gonna melt the plastic? Time to find out. Ow! Even like pushing this close through the plastic is like burning my fingers to even touch. Craft channels are all over hot glue like they're not constantly burning their fingers. How do they do that? How is that not the biggest mystery of 2018? I'm a little bit worried low-key that this is going to melt the plastic of the Ziploc bag, all this hot glue. Just low-key, high-key. Attach the tie to the base. So now we just glue a big strip of glue, big enough for the entire neck of this wide ass tie. Then I'm gonna place the tie on the neck piece. Then I'm gonna press down ever so gently, burning the tips of my fingers off. You're going to be able to commit lots of crimes after this because all of your fingerprints will be burned off. So this is very exciting. Wrap it with fabric and sew it. I think I got hot glue in my eye. Yeah, I definitely did. How did I do that? Why craft channels? Why are you so obsessed with hot glue? Are you guys being paid off by the hot glue industry? It all makes sense now. This glue gun is also the biggest piece of trash. It comes with this little wire stand so you can set it down, but it just doesn't work. Okay, it's looking pretty good. What's the, what are the last steps? Put a flexible tube into the hole. Pour in your drink through a funnel. So that's gonna go right in the hole. And then I, and then I get to pour in my drink of choice. This might actually work. Hold on, I'm gonna fill this up with water. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> it got a little wet, but you can hear it's got water in it. So let's give this a shot. Okay, I can't entirely tell on the screen if this looks like a, a tire, not. The wire that I use definitely cannot hold the weight of all the water in this pouch. And I do feel like I've sprung a leak. It does feel very wet down here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, fuck yeah. Well, uh, okay, be honest. If your teacher came into class one day and they were wearing this and you were studying and you sneakily saw your teacher pull a straw out of their tie, would you be suspicious? <laughs> and when Sebastian finishes the cocktail, he takes off the tie. When he's done with the drink, he takes off the tie as he like chucks it on the ground. <laughs> Teacher, what happened to your tie? What tie? I, I wasn't wearing a tie today. There was never a tie. I think that water, I think it tasted like hot glue. I just got this weird taste in my mouth. Yeah, that's probably fine. Mr. Sebastian has also brought a laptop into the classroom without anyone noticing. The secret is in his briefcase. This one is so weird because the whole craft is like hiding the fact that the teacher is using a laptop during class. When if anyone should be allowed to use a computer during class, it should be the teacher, right? Don't most schools nowadays, like the teacher has a laptop in the classroom or like a computer anyway? Why would a teacher not be allowed to use a computer during class? It's his class. Like, is he gonna like sneakily open up the computer and his students are gonna be like, hey, what did I say about that computer, mister? Give it here. You can have it after class. But right now you gotta teach Teach us. I want to see you get up there and write some shit on the board because I want to learn. Are students really going to do that? No, obviously. They're too busy listening to their pencil sharpeners. And this whole craft is like, ooh, you can pretend to be teaching when really you're scrolling the web on your laptop. But you can't pretend to be teaching. If you're a student, you can pretend to be paying attention because you just have to stare. But when you're teaching, you have to be like talking. 
and answering questions and writing shit on the board. You can't be doing that and playing a YouTube video on your computer. Take an old briefcase. Cover the leather around the fasteners with painter's tape. Coat the metallic clasps with gold acrylic paint. Cut circles out of metallic corrugated cardboard. Paint them gold and hot glue them to make pyramids. Attach them to the corners of the briefcase. What does any of this have to do with putting a laptop in a briefcase? What? There's so many extra steps to this. Do you want to see how you do this craft? I'll show you. There. That's the whole thing. That's the craft. Why do you need to put little gold corners on the briefcase? To make it look like a briefcase? It's already a briefcase. Is that to distract from what's going on over here? So students are like, damn, that briefcase is blinged out. They're just like staring at the gold corners on it instead of the teacher who's been staring into his laptop for the past 45 minutes. I just imagine him in the middle of teaching and he's like, so if you look on the board here, you can see, oh, wh wh whoops. Oh, I dropped my pen into my briefcase. Hold on, kids, I gotta look for it. <laughs> a laptop in a briefcase? Uh, a yeah. <laughs> All of his kids are just sitting there, like, watching him. Man, where did this pen go, guys? I cannot find it. It's been, like, 45 minutes since he even looked at them. Put your laptop inside. Yeah, no shit. Put the laptop inside. That's the whole thing. I know to do that. Why isn't this working? They can still see the laptop. Put your laptop inside. Oh, inside. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Attach an elastic cord loop at the top. Put in a mouse. A mouse? This dude can't use the trackpad on his laptop? And he's using the mouse outside of the briefcase. How is this not the most obvious thing ever? Sorry guys, I still can't find the pen that I dropped in here almost an hour ago. I think I'm getting pretty close though. And he's browsing Troom Troom, because of course he is. He's gotta constantly be on the lookout for new weird ways to neglect his students and get fired from his job. What kind of world does Troom Troom want us living in? I just imagine like walking into a classroom five years in the future and everybody's just pretending to be doing what they're supposed to be doing. Like you walk in and the teacher is at his desk pretending to be teaching, but he's really staring into his briefcase typing and he's also like drinking chocolate milk out of this weird tie thing he invented. There's a bunch of students with their headphones plugged into pencil sharpeners just rocking out. And then there's just one student who's just sitting in the back crying, just squeezing a gigantic paper clip. And most of the students aren't even there. They're just like cardboard cutouts of themselves. Well guys, I hope- Thank you.